everybody, it's Angela and I am back with another process video. And again, this is going to be using some of Saw Crafters products. And I'm just going to make my background first. And I got the Jane Davenport, I think they're called mermaid markers, uh, here recently with my coupon at Michael's. And so this is the first time I've broken into them. So I have no idea what I'm doing here. Uh, I want to mix kind of a lime green color ink. And so I do pretty good and I spray some water on there, but I only have this tiny brush, so it wasn't spreading very good. So I kind of went to my tried and true packaging technique to kind of smear that ink around on the page. And then I'm also putting some sprinkles of it as well. And uh, I really love the inks, they're super saturated. So I learned when I go to do the next color here, I wanted a pastel pink and I use way too much of the pink color and have to sop it up so uh yeah they're really saturated beautiful colors and i just need to learn how to use them a little better so there is the kind of lime green color and since i want to add pink next i need to dry this so that the two colors don't flow together and kind of make a muddy brown uh, color on my page they might mingle a little bit but I don't want too much uh, bleed over on those colors so I just dry that down then here's where I do the pink and I wind up putting way too much pink on my palette I guess just trying to get the pen started and but I wanted it to be a pastel pink so I wind up you know kind of wasting my ink by having to uh, kind of sop up some of that color I probably should have gotten another piece of paper and saved that ink but you know I'm learning and so I just wanted some touches of pink around that so I'm trying not to overlap them too much because I don't want them to get muddy and then I'm making some sprinkles of that as well and then I go ahead and I dry that with my heat tool and so it's completely dry and now I am going to use my first Saw Crafters product, which is this stencil. And this is a bunch of butterflies that kind of cascade down this stencil. I'm just going to use portions of it, of the butterflies, and not the whole thing as is. I'm going to move it around a little bit on the page. And I tried some of that Jane Davenport ink there, but it was a little bit, I didn't have too much mixed up there. So I'm going to grab just a regular ink pad to do the butterflies testing some colors and I find one that matches pretty well so I'm just taking a cosmetic wedge and kind of pushing that ink into the stencil and I think I'm doing a few more of the smaller butterflies I don't th think I do the biggest butterfly that's on there but I just want some kind of coming out of that cloud of ink And they're really subtle. I wind up covering quite a few of them up even, but you can still see them at the end of the project. And it just adds that extra layer of depth and interest for someone who actually really looks at the layout, they'll notice them. And I'll notice them. So there I just go and use some Windex to clean up my stencil and I pretty much order a stencil I throw one in my cart every time I shop at her site because she has great prices on stencils and they're so versatile I wind up using them all the time so now I'm glad I've broken into those inks so now I'm less intimidated by them for the next time because I've already used them once and so I get my paper and then this is the picture I'm going to do it's of my granddaughters at bath time and they have a bunch of little floaty animals in the bath with them I think she's holding a pink hippo and there's some other kind of green thing in the water so I went with that theme of the little hippo and bath toys and pulled out some Saw Crafters MDF products, which are that little elephant, the giraffe, and the alligator. And they're so cute. Um, I had spray painted a whole bunch of her products the last time I got them, so these were already painted white for me. I had done it earlier. And I love how the little elephant sits up there in the title, and that title is Chipboard, and it's How Wonderful You Are, and that's from Saw Crafters as well. 
And so I really like that whole look. And I wanted to go with this more little jungly theme or bath toy theme than an actual, you know, layout where if you remember back like in the 90s where you'd do a bath time photo and you put blue ink behind it and you did bubbles and soap bubbles and rubber duckies. And so I was like, uh, you know, I didn't want to go that themey. So this was a little bit of a deviation from that and yet still kind of fun and whimsical for little kids. So for the title, I am going to heat emboss that with some pink embossing powder. This is some Martha Stewart powder. And I really love how this turns out. It it's really um, covers really well. So Martha's embossing powders are really nice. I think I got these at Tuesday morning one time, but I had never tried Martha Stewart's brand until then, and it's really good quality. So I'm just doing that because it's really fast and quick. You know, I'm kind of lazy. That way I didn't have to paint it. <laughs> and then I'm just going to clean up my embossing powder. And yeah, a lot of times I find that I tend to use a lot of the little chipboard pieces and stuff in their white form. So sometimes when I get an order, I'll just take them outside and spray paint all of them white so that I don't have to deal with it later. Um, in this case, I wanted the title to be pink, so it was no big deal to um, emboss it pink, a little faster than painting. I think about using those little butterfly frames, but they don't wind up making it on this layout. I thought I had enough with just the little animals and the title, and then I wanted, I knew I wanted to put some flowers on there as well. So here I went in my stash and I started pulling out all kinds of flowers that I thought might work. Most of these are just recollections flowers. And then I have this piece of paper from the Hey Kid, which is a pink paisley collection. I had got that at Tuesday morning here a few weeks ago. And I really liked that floral and the little gingham because the it was just so bright and cheerful and the gingham really matched well with the ink that I had in the background. So I just want to use some of that to back my photo. I don't want a huge mat around the photo, but I do want some color or something to ground it. So I'm just trying to decide how much of that floral I actually want to show. So I wind up trimming that down because there's quite a bit of orange in that floral and I paper and I didn't want too much orange on the layout. So that's going to be pretty much my composition, just kind of centrally located in the middle of the paper with items clustered around it. So I go ahead and put my photo down. And then I'm also going to put a little bit of craft foam behind it just to give it a little lift. And these Saw Crafters products, I'll put a link down below, but if you go to her shop and you use the discount code ANGELAFANS, you'll receive 10% off your orders of $30 or more in her shop. So I'm glad to be able to have a discount code for you guys. And here I am, I'm just kind of going through the flowers. I love that one in the bottom right, it has the exact same colors that I used in my background. So I definitely want to use that. And it's been in my stash a long time, so I'm glad to get it used up. I have two other ones similar to it, the white, off-white pinwheels, but I wind up not using those because I didn't want any more white flowers on the layout. I wanted to just go with uh, the pinks and greens. So there's just, it's not working for me at this point. Somehow the title just didn't seem to be very grounded and things seem to be floating around just a little bit too much for me. So I go off to my stash and, oh, I think I'm grabbing some die cuts. Um, I want to put a few die cuts behind here. So I'm thinking and thinking and 
go to grab those and I cut two doily shapes using this uh, and some flourishes using the Doris die and I just want to put something that kind of will stick up above the top to help ground that title and integrate everything without covering up too much of my mixed media background so I'm kind of liking that so I go ahead and I kind of line the chevrons up because that paper has some chevrons and it's from the same Hey Kid uh, stack that I matted my photo on. I'm just going to tack that down and I'm just covering up some of that center portion of the paper trying to make sure that I still have ink peeking out from the top and bottom. But that just, I don't know, something about having part of that title on that doily shape just seems to work a little bit better and makes it a little easier to read. I'm not sure, but it seemed to work for me at the time. So I go ahead and stick my title down. I'm just putting a little bit of weight on there. And then I want to put my photo down as well. Just kind of line it up with that title. And then I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot my flourishes. So I just go ahead and add some to part of the flourish and then I'll go tack down the rest of it later. I'm trying to make sure I get it how I want it. And then I tack a little bit more of that. I don't completely glue everything down so little bits of it still kind of stick up, which is nice. And that gives some place for my little alligator to rest there at the bottom of that. And I don't know, it just seemed to ground everything a little bit better. So I've decided not to go with those kind of white pinwheel flowers and just use that one pinwheel that matched so well and then some pink and green flowers from my stash and they're both the recollection uh, dollar bin flowers. Using a little bit of hot glue, I'm gonna put that elephant and uh, nestle him right there in the title. He just looks like he belongs there. I'm gonna go ahead and put the giraffe and let his head kind of curve up over that upper corner of my photo. And then the little alligator is gonna be down here at the bottom. And then I just have to decide how I want the flowers to be arranged and where I want certain colors to be. So I kind of like that one grounding the start of my title. And I put a little bit of pink there. And then this darker pink one I put lower and I glue it down here in a little bit. And you can see I accidentally glued the, um, the clear backing of my flower. I had cut the, the clear backing off with the flower so I could move it around and then I accidentally glued it underneath the alligator. So I had to cut that out so I could get my flower off. And then I finished gluing those down. And I want to back the whole layout on this other uh, piece of matching chevron paper like I made the doilies from. And I actually cut my layout down more on one side than the other because I wanted the border to be asymmetrical. I didn't want just a regular symmetrical mat all the way around my layout. I wanted it to kind of be over towards one side and have a little bit larger mat there on the left just for a change of pace. And then that is my completed layout and I love how it turned out. It's kind of a departure for me on these this color scheme and stuff but I really do like it. And there is the title with the pink embossing powder on it and my little MDF wood animals. And you can still see those butterflies coming out uh, in the background. So yeah, I really love it. And again, you guys, if you want to order any of these products, 
um, from Saw Crafters, use the discount code ANGELAFANS and you'll get that 10% discount off your purchase of $30 or more. And I will leave the info in the description box down below. If you have any questions, just leave me a comment and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!